Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your RAM for your Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop. This is a brand new one and I'm just going to open it up for you guys and to see how to upgrade and what's the space that you have to, to do the upgrade. As it shows inside the Windows Task Manager, the Windows Task Manager always, always will show you one out of two or two out of two slot available on a laptops and that not necessarily means that you have two slots available even if you have only one slot solder on the motherboard it will still detect as a, you have two slots so the information that the task manager inside the windows 10 will show is uh, very false okay so before we open it, we need to power on the power off the laptop completely. Make sure it's completely off. And next thing is to grab a screwdriver set. I always use the iFixit tool set and because they have one of the best uh, screw set drivers and the bits on this ones are S2 class um, bits. That means they are really toughened, hardened bits. It will last you many disassembly. gray support all right once we removed uh, the screws on the bottom you need to grab yourself an opening tool i use the guitar pick and uh, what you want to do you want to stick the guitar pick between the bottom and the top cover just like that about two millimeter inward and then you just want to twist don't worry it's not going to scratch or anything like that so just go ahead and start twisting and you're going to unloosen the clip to the sides just, I'm just wiggling it around like that and you want to hear those clips once you did the sides the front you can go in the back stick it right there and twist once you did the one side and the front you can lift it up this way and wiggle it around and this other side will come loose if it doesn't just wiggle this side this side too and then you'll be done all right, down here we can see the whole RAM right in front of us. The one RAM dim available, and the second dim is soldered on the board. So if your Windows is showing one out of two, or two out of two, that means one is um, both are occupied. And if it in yours, for example, you cannot replace this RAM right over here. This is soldered on the board. The only thing that you can upgrade is this one right here. To remove the RAM, before you remove, most people say, oh, you know what, disconnect the battery, you must disconnect the battery, all that, I've been doing this for more than 20 years, uh, to replacing the RAM, the hard drive, the SSD, or Wi-Fi board, anything like that, you do not need to remove the battery, unless you want to remove the heat sink or work on the CPU, then yes. But for the upgrading RAMs, you do not need to. To remove the, if you want to be paranoid and you want to remove the battery, it's really simple. Just grab these cables and pull this jack backward, these black cables, and the jack will get disconnected. And that's simple. And then you can just push it back in. Alright, to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers apart. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Once you get the RAM in 45 degree angle, just grab it and pull it out in a 45 degree angle. This is a 4 gig DDR4 RAM. So this is a 3200 um, megahertz. You can grab a 8 gig or even a 16 gig RAM. You can uh, stick RAM, you can place it in here. To place the RAM in here, you have to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. Doesn't matter which orientation you have the RAM chips on the top, on the bottom, that doesn't matter at all. As long as the RAM dim in the notch on the, it matches the notch on the motherboard, on the dim. 
So you're gonna grab it in 45 degree angle, you're gonna bring it inward towards them, them 45, and you're gonna push it towards the motherboard and you should hear these two triggers doing a click, just like that. That means the RAM is in place. Once you put the new RAM in there, then plug in the battery if you unplugged it, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push the corners, push the front end, sides towards back corners, back by the hinges and make sure you do those clicks and the last thing would be to putting back down the bottom screws i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out and if it did please consider clicking that thumbs up button and subscribing and thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in my next video